Hello everyone, it's Kivi here. Today I'm going to show you how I revamp my dining room table. I was really looking into purchasing a white table, but I didn't want to make a huge purchase at this point because we are a military family and we move around a lot. Usually our stuff is getting damaged in the moves. So I decided to go ahead and revamp a couple things in my home. As you can see, I painted these finishes white they were a darker color before and i really wanted to brighten things up to match the color scheme that i was going for which was blue and yellow and i do have some gray and white in between now here is how the dining room table looked before it was a cherry wood color the first thing we did was flip the table over and remove the legs Next, we brought the table in the garage and my husband started the sanding process. Once that's completed, go ahead and wipe your table down with a damp cloth. We decided to go with a Rust-Oleum brand primer and we used a semi-gloss finish. Now we set our table on these crates to keep the paint from dripping and we also put a drop cloth underneath. You're going to start with painting your table with two coats of primer and letting it dry about two hours in between and go ahead and let this sit overnight before you apply the paint. I use a white finish semi-gloss paint on my table and I let this dry overnight as well. I did give it two coats of paint. Once that was completed my husband started the sanding process on the chairs when he was completed with the chairs. I gave them a complete wipe down before I started the painting process. Now I did use a paint and primer in one on these chairs to save some time. And we probably didn't have to sand the chairs, but we went ahead and did it anyway. Now I applied two coats of paint to the chairs and I let that dry two hours in between. Once that was completed, this is how the chairs turned out. I was really excited about the finish, but the back of the chairs really needed something extra. So I went ahead and found these items at Michael's and I spray painted them a metallic finish. I'm just so excited that I decided to do this on my own. It saved a lot of money. I did apply the emblems with this E6000 glue and I couldn't have made a better decision. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Everything that I use in the project is listed below.